Because my dad left when I was uh, a child, like a baby, but then he came back five years later and made my sister. And then left again. <laughs> it's like an experiment. Can I be a dad? No, no. <gasps> Can I? <laughs> no, no. <laughs> Still not. Weird. There was an article in a, in a Danish newspaper last year, and it was about me, but there was an interview with my dad like, they interviewed my dad, which is so weird. Like, how did you get his number? Can I have it? <laughs> <laughs> this is what he was quoted for saying. He said, yeah, we see each other every once in a while, which we do for, like, Christmas and birthdays, his birthday. <laughs> but when we do see each other, he said, when we do see each other, we're more like friends. Have you ever been friend-zoned by your dad? <laughs> That is a weird situation to be in. Just like, don't flatter yourself. It's not like if we weren't related, we'd be hanging out. Oh, who's that guy? That's my 58-year-old racist friend. We do brunch. It's lovely. You can't define that as friendship. You can't do, it's not okay. Like. Like, I was 27 when I read that he'd said that. Imagine if I would have been a child. Imagine if I'd heard that when I was a child. I would just be fucked for life. Like, whenever a child would be like, you want to be my friend? I'd be like, yeah, so you can fuck my mother twice and forget my birthday? <laughs> I know what friends are, and you're not one of them. <laughs> I'm just going to say, that's not friends. That is not... So no one told you that your dad was going to leave. <laughs> Your life's a joke, you're broke, he's never coming back! <laughs> no one will ever love you! Anyways. <laughs> Too much. <laughs> he's not there for you! Anyways. <laughs> it's my favorite bit, I don't know why this isn't yours. I mean, I thought of that like last week, I was like, that's going in the show. <laughs> That's being released. I'm, I'm gonna, everyone should see that. <laughs> You're like, no, too far.